It's World EV Day 2024 and electric vehicles are becoming more popular than ever. But we've got to ask you, are the apps that come with these cars helpful or are they just another thing to deal with? Let's break it down. As an EV owner, you've probably had one of these concerns cross your mind. How far can I go? Will I find a working station? Is it saving me money? If you're nodding your head on any one of these, then this video is for you. When you buy an electric car, the dealer usually recommends installing the company's official app. Tata has IRA, MG has eHub, Mahindra has Adrenox, Kia has Kia Connect, Audi has My Audi Connect, and the list goes on. But what do these apps do? Take MG eHub for example. It's designed to make EV life easier, lets you find nearby chargers, and even locate stations along your route. Plus, you can see the last time each charger was used. Handy, right? But here's the catch. Once you select a charger, the app redirects you to one of its partner apps and then you have to navigate using Google Maps. Does that solve your problem? Not entirely. It adds an extra step, which can be frustrating when you're in a hurry. MG's EV calculator on its website, for instance, it's not just an app thing, but it adds value. Now let's talk about Tata's IRA app. It takes a much simpler approach and offers solution without the need for a third-party app. With the new Curve.ev, Tata modified its app to make it more user-friendly. It shows real-time availability of more than 12,000 chargers across India. You can check the available range, range required to reach the charger, type of charger, and even the status of the charger. Very convenient. Even at its EV specific dealerships, all the information about the route, even if you're doing like a long distance or even if it's like a for a shorter distance, all the information is available at one single destination. Like MG's eHub, Tata's software lets you calculate long term savings compared to ICE vehicles. Apps like Kia Connect, Adrenox, and My Audi Connect promises a lot of similar features. But whether or not they'll improve your experience depends on how seamlessly these apps integrate into your daily routine. At the end of the day, these apps are about one thing, making your life stress-free. But they don't all do that equally. Some, like MG's eHub, offer great features but fall short when it comes to convenience. Others, like Tata's IRA, streamline things and offer a smoother experience. So what's the takeaway? Here are three key things to look for in a good EV app. Does it show real-time charger availability? Can it help you understand your daily and long-term savings? Does the app make things easier? Or is it just another thing to manage? At the end, whether these apps make your life easier depends on how you use them. Some can genuinely reduce stress, while others might feel like more of a chore. As EV tech evolves, we'll see more seamless solutions that blend into our daily lives. But for now, be sure to pick an app that works for you. If you're an EV buyer, tell us in the comments what's your go-to app and does it make your life simpler?